Hello, you guys. Welcome to Product Focus Friday. Um, if you saw my review for April and the, my kit share, etc., for May, you would have learned that for Product Focus Friday this month, we are playing with Felicity Jane. So this is my Felicity Jane stash. This is all of it. Um, sorry, I keep forgetting I have a notebook. This is oh that this one is the Madison kit that I haven't touched. Maybe I should play with that. Maybe that's what I should be playing with because I got it and I didn't I didn't use any of it yet. And that would actually be a really good kit to use. What's this one? Oh, this is still leftovers of Harper. Similar colors, very fall themed. Okay, and then what's going on underneath here? I haven't opened this for a while. Oh, a little bit of Christmas stuff. Okay, Just keeping things separate apparently. And then everything else. Oh, there's so much. <laughs> um, but yes, this is my Felicity Jane stash which I'm glad we're playing with it um, a lot of it has been loved a lot of it hasn't been touched it's like a 50 50 uh, I got I know I haven't played with much of it um, since I got a Black Friday haul um, last fall and I had been doing getting some kits and stuff off and on before that but not a lot of playing with it um, since then so we're gonna hopefully Play with it. Um, today is uh, we're playing with embellishments this month as well. We're focusing on embellishments, so we're going to focus mostly on ephemera today. I am going to do. Um, I've got two sketches left. Uh, this one is is, is by Lizavette for keeping the best blog um, that we got to use in uh, Thirty Days of Sketches. So thank you, Lizavette, for letting us use your sketch um, for March tenth is when it was. So. Um, this is one of two that I have left. Um, and I have this adorable photo of practice at my sister's wedding, my son walking down the aisle with the flower girl. And um, it's kind of like the only photo I got that's not professional of this. And it's just cute because they were holding hands and stuff. So, um, so we're going to play with that. And I thought about digging in my stash and using some, I've got some fallish um, ephemera bits uh Maggie Holmes style so I wonder if we should try to maybe do that might be kind of pretty try to use some Harper and Madison what is it Madison is it yeah because those are all kind of fallish collections so I think we will and they're pretty I think we'll try to focus on those since they're in my stash and sitting on top so nicely and they're basically a kit but yeah I thought so much so much fun stuff in here that I need to play with more oh and that's where oh yeah and then I have oh my <laughs> this is the problem with being a supplies lover is yeah so let me, I think that's what we're going to do mostly, is play with Harper and Madison, use those up. If I need to pull anything from here, I will. It's going to be right by my side. That is not going to be a problem. We're going to fold up this tissue paper nicely and put it in my tissue paper stash. I will just make a dent in what's left. So for Harper, I have some of these chipboard tags left over. We have the thankful, um, thankful graduate. I did use the stamp set a little bit, so I have played with that. Um, and then we have, I did use these quite a bit. These are epoxy shapes, so I have some of those. I've got one little border left and some colors, just some scraps. Um, so we'll be able to play with that as well. A couple branding strips. Oh, good. Okay. Um, 
but for this that sketch we kind of need I definitely gonna need a doily or two so I'll grab and Felicity Jane goes so well with doilies and I kind of just need it looks like a good 12 by 12 and maybe two scraps so I could possibly pull in a scrap and then we're gonna grab some of this ephemera stuff from that's just in my stash and try and do some ephemera heavy um, embellishing, which I thought this sketch would be perfect for that because it definitely lends itself to just using tons of ephemera. But with this Madison kit, I've got, what are these? Oh, they're little envelopes. But yeah, a lot of these colors go really well. And that's the one thing about Felicity Jane. You can mix and match so well. Um, I've got pocket cards. I've got vellum pockets. We probably won't be using those, obviously, on this. Um, these are some tags that are uh, embossed. They're just plain, so we could do a little inking over those. We've got a stamp set. I can do this. You are enough. History to tell. Or mis mystery? My story to tell. Oh, my. Couldn't read that. It's probably easier to read outside of the package. Learn to love me more. It's okay. So these are really good goals. Yes, you can. Bring it on. Whatever is next. I like this flower. Maybe we can do some stamping. I like this alpha. A nice chipboard. Yeah, this was a January kit. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Um, here are the die cut shapes. For Miss Madison. Comfy Beauty, there's a big floral, some other pieces. So we can use these, they're ephemera. And then this is the lovely pattern paper pack insert. <clears throat> Ooh, that's cute. So yeah, I will have to make a decision on what I want to use. And then you get your salads. Which are this two blush pink and then, ooh, this orange and this green. A lot of white. So I got to make a decision on if I want to do white or if I want to do... I'm like, oh, I really like this, but my wood grain. <laughs> or if I wanted to do a darker, but I think a white actually would be kind of cute. Or should I do like this green? That might be cute. So yeah, I'm going to have to figure that out. Uh, what I want to do. I kind of was, I was leaning actually kind of towards this floral. And then bringing out some of the yellow by putting this as that yeah so I mean, let's see here while I still have you guys all let's get the doilies out oh that actually looks really pretty on there. <clears throat> and because I have the doilies, I can piece these to get, piece this like part, or I could, yeah, I could piece together um, parts to go. That actually might look really cute. All right, I'm leaning towards that. And these size doilies are perfect, I feel like. I do need, a, I feel like I do need a slightly bigger one for the top one. Or are they all just, are they all just different sizes? Or do I just do, sorry, I'm like working this out, out loud. Is this one too big? might be this one might be too big but this one is the next size and then this one is smaller so 
we need. I kind of like the whole varying doily size on the page idea. Because the photo will go right in here. And then this one will be almost all the way on the page. And then this one will be... Oh, I enjoy that. And then that's a little more subtle with that. I think I like that. Mm -hmm. And then I can always put a color or something in the center, a pattern paper in the center of the doilies to make them stand out a little more. I might do that too. Because it kind of looks like that's what she did on her sketch. So... Ooh, ooh, okay, perfect. And then I can make, I can have leaves that are green, which is nice because a lot of them are, and they can stick out behind things, below things. Um, the next thing I have to make sure is that my photo is the right width for this doily. Sure is. Perfect. Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna do some cutting. So I'm gonna get some, pick out some pattern papers to put in the center of these where they go. I'm gonna cut strips of this to lay that down on the bottom and the top. I'm gonna cut my photo down, get the doilies down, and get all those bases glued down. This is gonna be our background paper. And we're gonna go from there. And then I'm gonna go dig through all the ephemera and see what we can find. So I will be back. All right, you guys, this turned out so good. I love the way it looks. This is looking fabulous. Uh, yeah, so now we just need to gather ephemera. So I grabbed a few things out of my stash that I knew already would work. I kind of planned it out. Um, so I've got some things. And I went through the ephemera and the um, embossed tags that came with the Felicity Jane kit. Um, and then we'll add some of these epoxy shapes. But the ephemera was the whole thing. So I grabbed some ephemera for my stash, which is great. Um, these are... Oh, was it a Maggie Holmes collection? I'm not sure at the moment. I think so. Um, but I cut this flower in half. We're going to tuck part of it right there and just put this tag in this journaling spot over here. There we go. want it to peek out a little. And then this is a little acrylic piece from that Maggie Holmes collection. It was something flowers, I feel like. It says the little things you do. I'm going to put that on that circle. And then I think just those two. Yeah. And then let's tuck. these two over here and then the other half of that flower is going to go right here and I inked I picked out the tag that said smile and I inked it kind of messily with Victorian velvet it matches this medium color the best and it kind of matches that so we're going to stick this in here And then we're going to put this butterfly, this green heart. And that's kind of going to be my title because I don't really want a big title to take away from my photo. I just got to take the plastic part off of this. So I'm going to get all this stuff glued down and then I'll come back and we'll put some little bits on and we'll call it done, I think. So I'll be back. Get all down. I did some journaling. And then I stamped May, and then I tried to stamp 2016, but I screwed up. So then I just covered it up with some uh, letter alphas, or little tile alphas. I have some. I had just enough to make 2016. I actually have an I and an O instead of a zero and, an, and a one. Um, but I'm pretty sure they're the same. And you can't tell, so it doesn't matter. 
All right, cut the excess off there. We've got a little overhang there. And then we'll cut the overhang off over here. Okay. Oh, I like this. Okay. And then looks like I need a little bit more glue there. And then we'll sprinkle some of these plus signs around. I really like the way this is coming together. It's coming together quite well. Oh, I like these hearts too. So let's do... Some of these hearts. Oh, and I gotta put um in my tag holes yet. I think I can just tuck the one in there. Use some of those. And we're all good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all. We'll check back next week uh, again where, like I said, if you missed uh, my um, kind of kit intro for How to Kill a Kit with Style and my... Um, kind of announcement or the hat picking of what we were going to play with for Product Focus Friday. That will be linked um, in a card here at the end. Um, we're doing Felicity Jane and um, embellishments all month. So is our focus. So yeah. Thanks again so much for watching and we'll see you next time.